This weapon, I really have no words for it. It deals an enormous amount of damage, but that comes at a price. I will tell you where you can get this super powerful legendary weapon and show it in action in this video. If you like that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. This weapon is really for the best of the best players that know that they will not get hit and know that they are very good at the game. This weapon will make them even stronger. As you see, when equipping the imitation Z1 Kopesh, you lose two of your three health bars because the weapon is cursed. So any heavy damage or just a few light attacks from an enemy can be enough to kill you. In exchange though, you get amazing weapon damage that other weapons from the same level could only dream of. So at level 32, the weapon has almost 500 damage per second, while a legendary heavy blade weapon has 317 damage per second at the same level. A legendary dual blades from level 33 have 314 damage per second. And let's compare it with a weapon from the same category. So this weapon is a sickle sword. If I upgrade my other legendary sickle sword from level 1 to level 33, it would have 313 damage per second. So the C1 Kopesh has almost 200 extra damage per second almost double the damage of the other legendary weapons on the same level. Yeah, this is insane. Let's take a look at the perks of the weapon as well. Every legendary weapon has three perks. This one has bleeding on hit, so enemies take an additional damage over time after they get hit. And also critical hit damage so that your critical hit damage is increased and in this case by 180% since the critical hit damage perk is level 1. And then we are at the thing that makes this weapon so powerful and special and that is cursed. As you see in the legend here, Bayek gains 200% damage output. I have to note of course that only this weapon gets 200% extra damage output because I use my bow and stuff like that. No extra damage for that, only your cursed weapon. And the price you get to pay for that is that your health is kept at 33%. So whenever you use a cursed weapon, it's smart to use another cursed weapon in your second weapon slot. Since you already have the handicap of having only 33% of your health all the time. And with equipping another cursed weapon weapon it does not like make your health go down even lower it stays at the 33% so you can wear two cursed weapons and pay the price for one actually so that's pretty nice I don't know if there's like a cursed bow as well or cursed shield that would be pretty sick so you have some sort of cursed like gear set that all has increased power I don't think that would be a cursed shield right but maybe a cursed bow let me know if you found one in the comments down below so I only have a spear that is cursed but that does not have the same amount of power as the c1 Kopesh so before I tell you how to get this awesome weapon, I first wanted to show you the weapon in action. We're just going to kill a bunch of guys and then you will see how super powerful it is. But we of course have to be careful that we are not getting killed because you will easily get killed. As you saw, one heavy attack and one light attack and that was the end of it. So we have to be careful against this guy. Follow up with one heavy attack and he's down. Dropping his shield as well. Oh, there's an archer. This is gonna be fun. The archers are pretty fun. Of course, always hold up your shield. Okay, there. One light attack. That was enough. Let's see if I can kill this guy really fast. I still have my overpower attack. That should really work against a lot of enemies. There we go. Just some light attacks. Three light attacks and he's done. So you really have to know when are, am I going to do my light attacks and when am I going to do my heavy attacks. Against these guys, the light attacks are way smarter. See, one hit and I'm almost down. There you go. That was a, a nice counter there for me. So yeah, know when to do what attack. And also, of course, the dodge dodge attack. That's a really nice one too. Yeah, do an attack fast. You can do that with your light. That's this one. And with your heavy. Oh, that was just a regular heavy, but dodge dodge heavy. There you go. Okay, there are some, some guys on some horses. Let's uh, do our overpower attack here. Oh, they stunned me. That's of course super. We have to be careful for that. Let's see if he can... Okay, these guys are running away. That sucks. There's one guy. He's jumping on a horse. Okay, okay. There you go. One hit, one hit. Oh! <gasps> Oh, the guy with the spear. Dangerous, but one heavy hit and he's down. Oh my god. Oh, let's grab the loot. 
Okay, let's kill some more guys. I'm having fun actually. I'm like always surprised by the amount of damage. So how you wanna do it is like against the guys with like heavy weapons you wanna use your light attacks. And against the like small guys like these. You kinda wanna do your heavy attacks because they will easily kill them. On the other hand, light attacks might kill them as well. So I will let him hit me first and now I'm going to dodge around him, do my heavy attack. Finishing off with a light attack. And you see the critical damage deals a ton and that's of course the perk that uh, your critical hit. Or your critical hit deals a ton, that's what I wanted to say. So yeah, there you have it, the super powerful weapon. Now let's show you how to get it. So now that you've seen the weapon in action, you of course want to know how to get it. Well, it's actually pretty easy. You get it from the side quest Vorging Jiwa. That you get over here in UA Maria, and that is close to Croco di Lopolis. When going there, there will be a guy walking around with the quest icon on his hat, and he will give you the level 25 required Vorging Jiwa side quest. And that will lead you to the Valley Market, where you find a girl that sells Jiwa stuff, at least that's what she says. Follow her, kill the bandit that are attacking her mother and they get rewarded with the imitation Z1 Kopesh. So yeah, imitation because the quest is about Mersen selling fake shit. So that's what I really love about this weapon. You think, oh it's fake shit, but it's actually pretty good, although it comes at a price. I love these types of perks that push you in a different playstyle and people that just know when to dodge and know when to strike will really benefit from this weapon. Since you already saw the damage of course of the weapon, which is insanely powerful. So this is just a fun highlight of in my opinion one of the best weapons in the game and it's also unique like tied to a side quest there's no random element to it you only get it from the side quest i think you only get this weapon at level 25 but i kind of don't know since i was level 25 as well and sometimes your rewards are tied to the level you are at for example with treasures this is the case but i think that you only get this at level 25 since it's a level 25 required quest so this means that Whenever you do this quest, you always have to upgrade it to the max level to fully use it. Of course, just wait till you hit the max level to upgrade it to that level, otherwise you sink a lot of money into this weapon. It's not really worth it, I did it now to showcase the true power in this video, but otherwise you can better just wait since... Yeah, the upgrading costs a lot of money. But man, I can't wait to see the stats on this weapon at level 40, the max level in this game. I will have way more videos up discussing the best gear in Assassin's Creed Origins, so totally subscribe to stay up to date on that. Also check out my video on the amazing Izu armor that I also used in the gameplay I showed you, and also what skills you should get early in the game. Like this video to support the channel, thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye.